my name is Anthony Hardy. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at MediCreations. Today we're going to talk about the technology of light-based devices for hair removal. So there's several different types of light-based devices for hair removal. You have laser devices and then IPL, which is intense pulse light that can do hair removal, not a laser system. Uh, today we're going to talk about lasers. So with lasers for hair removal, you have uh, 1064, ND YAG laser systems, 755 Alexandrite laser systems. Um, but what we're going to focus on today will be a diode laser, so semiconductor diode laser, particularly the 808 nanometer range. So the way hair removal works with um, the technology behind it for light base is that energy, the light coming out, is going to be absorbed into pigmented melanin. So the reason why I personally really like the 808 diode is it is a great wavelength that covers all the different skin types and pigment. So hair removal only works um, with light-based devices by that light being absorbed into the hair follicle and essentially destroying that hair follicle with enough energy. So you have to have a correct wavelength that is not being absorbed by the surrounding tissues, but absorbed into that hair follicle. This is why you have to have pigment. So um, unfortunately there is no way to remove really blonde hair, gray hair, anything like that. It has to have pigment in it. So when that light is focused onto it, it gets absorbed, heats up that hair follicle and destroys the hair follicle at the source and you get no more regrowth. Um, the reason why hair removal is not permanent is because yes, it does destroy that hair follicle. It, your hormones and your body's natural system will develop new hair follicles. Particularly today, we're going to talk about our device, which is the Medicrations Medi Diode. It's an 808 uh, nanometer diode laser. So what makes it a little unique and uh, ideal candidate for a hair removal device is not only can you adjust the energy output, the joules output, as well as the pulse width to enable the pulse to be long enough to actually be targeted in that hair follicle to destroy the hair follicle, you have to have that energy being delivered at a long enough time is the speed of delivery. So our device is able to go 10 uh, hertz, so 10 pulses per second at higher energies. So other devices can go higher, but as you go higher, it drops your hertz rate down to where you're only going one hertz, five hertz. With 10 hertz, it allows the practitioner to treat the patient in doing an in motion or painting method. So you're able to glide back and forth over the targeted treatment area, do that treatment and go two to three passes over it. So you know you're A, not missing any area, you're um, effectively targeting all the different hair follicles so you don't have missed spots and have to do touch-ups, but it's also delivering enough energy that you're killing all those hair follicles and not just damaging them or weakening them. So you're actually gonna get quality hair removal. So with that, still because of the hair cycles and how many, um, the three different growth patterns and you wanna make sure you're hitting the right time in those growth patterns, it still takes um, six to eight treatments to effectively do the full hair removal process. That's just to make sure because you don't want any missed spots. You want to make sure you do that effective thing, but you're going to get a higher effectiveness. You're going to get that efficacy goes way up. You get better results as well with doing that painted method. Um, you don't have to have that full energy to kill the hair follicle with one pulse. So it makes it a lot more comfortable to the patient. Um, little to no pain as if you were doing a long pulse scan 64, you're delivering all that energy in one go and it just makes it a lot more painful to the patient. Also with that, we're able to cool the entire chill tip and the delivery of that diode, of that energy um, with the TEC, which is a thermoelectric cooler. So again, that's for patient comfort. Um, so with ultrasound gel for gliding to allow you to um, do that treatment, it transfers that cooling, makes it a lot more comfortable to the patient, whereas other devices you have to do an external cooling function, either with cryogen or with a chiller that sprays cold air. Neither one are as effective as if your entire delivery system is cooled to zero degrees Celsius. So you're gonna get a lot more comfort to the patient 
and a lot better results, which is always the ideal situation for any treatment that you were doing. So that is the MediDog for hair removal. Um, hair removal is always a great option to have in any practice. Hair removal is the number one aesthetic treatment that people are looking for and we feel that the medi diode is the perfect fit for that again my name is uh, anthony hardy the chief technology officer of medi creations i look forward to talking about more technologies in the future as we have more coming out down the pipeline thank you